All right, y'all, what up? Welcome back, happy Friday. Um, we're gonna chat about Seven Falls Merlot from Washington State, which is my home state, and I love it. Um, so shout out to the home team. Um, the cool fun fact about this bottle, I know I'm a weirdo, it's okay. Um, fun fact, this is named after the seven waterfalls in Columbia Valley, which is where most of the wine in Washington comes from. Um, they named it after those seven waterfalls, so they're iconic. So let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look. And it's pretty juicy, right? Or not juicy, it's pretty red. Um, I would say ruby red, moving into like a darker burgundy red. There's no stain on the glass. But the legs are medium plus to form and medium plus to fall, meaning a medium plus level of alcohol. We will confirm it when we get there, but let's right now stick your nose in that glass and take a smell. Ooh, she's dark. Um, red plum. Um, black raspberry, black cherry, um, even some black berry. Some really dark fruits, really kind of surprising. Um, let's look for some earth. There's a super earthy smell here, like almost like wet forest floor with like leaves and moss and mushrooms mixed in. Um, and there's also a non-fruit category. Um, there's some black pepper and there's also some dried herbs. So dried, like dried parsley, dried basil, like that kind of savory aroma going on. One more time, stick your nose in the glass, Let's smell for wood. And it's all kind of dark and sultry. I get like molasses and mocha and cinnamon and even like some some coffee, like Starbucks dark roast coffee. So let's take a sip and confirm what we smell. She's super dark. Um, I would say this is probably the darkest, inkiest, sultriest um, wine on our wine list by the glass. Um, there's black, there's blackberry jam. Um, there's red plum. Um, there's blueberry, black cherry, um, kind of all those really dark fruits underneath of that i definitely think we have an earth component here so um there's there's fresh churned forest floor with dried leaves and moss mixed in like a real savory element those non-fruits are there as well so definitely dried herbs um picking up that savory again and then the wood so take one more sip and let's look for those wood components so dark chocolate mocha um starbucks coffee for sure some of that cinnamon um so all of those um wood spices talk about some structure. How much is your mouth gushing? And I feel like I'm trying to keep the, the gush in my mouth um, and not spit it on the table. So I'm going to call this high acid for sure. Um, alcohol, how warm are you? I'm looking for it, but I actually can feel it. So I'm going to give this a medium plus alcohol because I do have some warmth. Last but not least, tannin, how dry is your tongue? And I do have some dryness. I can feel it. It's not overwhelming. So we're going to call this medium plus acid. So medium plus, pardon me, medium plus um, tannin not acid medium plus tannin um, with the dryness on your tongue medium plus alcohol and high acid i think that's all going to be that um, full-bodied lane for pairing with food so full-bodied wine full-bodied food all right three two one so this is ripe plum it's vanilla and i think we have to call this savory right remember that earth and those dried herbs there's a savory quality here it's going to go really well with the filet and the burger It'll go well with all the meats, but those two specifically. Fun fact, it is named after the Seven Waterfalls in Columbia Valley, Washington. My hometown, shout out. I love your faces. Go get it.